All right, I'm back. I'm back. I've been telling y'all we'll do like one take Jake's. This is uh this is like 30 take Jake. Can't can't get I'm 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 in the fight right now. I'm just in the battle. So I thought uh well I might as well bring y'all with me. It's been a minute since I did a last post. I do understand that. Thought I'd be doing that on the weeklies. Um, but uh, life life has said other. Um and that's okay. It's okay. Someone shared with me recently that they appreciate my videos. Uh, they appreciate uh, the way I talk and the silliness uh, as um, I'm just sort of very, very, very blunt, brutally transparent, and that actually helps them do their story. So to that individual, I love you and I appreciate the comment. So here you go. I hit the record button. Oh. I almost don't even want to do this, <laughs> but it's, it's real. Oh, it's so real, man. Okay, let's talk about these, what I call the cherries. So I got my cherries on, and uh, I've been I've been dealing with, uh, with some issues now for um, well over a year, but finally coming together on some things, and uh, and I find that we're wearing, you know, after a lot of doctor's appointments, and uh, a lot of studies which uh, which result in, uh, do I have a disease? I do not in my eyes. Uh, am I going blind? I am not going blind. Uh, do I have problems with my eyes? I have several uh, problems, you know, with my eyes. And do they know why? No, they do not know why. Uh, there's just a lot of speculation, right? And, and whatnot, disabled for so long, uh, sleeping with breathing equipment that now says something about optic nerve issues when you're on breathing machines do i trust that who do i trust there's just what what do you believe anymore i don't even know uh i just thank god i got prayer thank god i got a cool lady named kk that hangs with me and uh and got country music and some good food you know, that's sort of what's pushing me through it uh, so I'm not at the bottom of the valley. Okay. I'm not at the top of the mountain. I'm in the middle. And, uh, so anybody else is in the middle, uh, I'm right there with you and let's, uh, let's do this and battle together. Uh, but the reality is that I'm, I'm up against some issues with my left eye specifically, some optic nerve issues specifically. And, oh, I don't know where else to go other than there's issues. Uh, wearing the cherries does help. I've been wearing these now for, for about a week. I had to do a bunch of testing. Again, no insurance, right? Nobody covers nothing. Uh, we're not sure if this is going to help, but, you know, give it a try if you want. Uh, I had to push through some pride, and uh, I don't want to look like Jack and Nicholson. Sorry. I don't want to be crippled Elton John. I don't even play the piano good. Why Why do I want to wear these bad boys? Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, they do, uh, they are helping. So there you go. You name it. Now you get the uh, opportunity to react. And I am a little bit wavering. But I'm grown. And, uh, and I'm going to get through this. There you go. Uh, it all started long ago. Uh, this is back like in 22 is when this all started. Again, blows my mind that it's taken a year and like three or four months to sort of get to what I'm wearing now. So many doctor's appointments. Uh, but I think one of the things that I'll always remember out of this season uh, is that back in 22, when this all started going down, you couldn't get appointments with anybody. And I quickly ran out of, uh, uh, you know, doctors. Now you need specialists. And those specialists are hard review, but they you know their their schedule's ten months out. Uh, but if you go to the ER, you know you'll uh, you'll get in sooner. And I was like, that's what we do now. We go to the ER to sort of get appointments. And it's like, yeah, man, welcome to the new world. So we did did on a Friday. Thank God I had Allison with me. I spent the entire day at Harborview in the ER. I didn't know that you did these things. I didn't know you could have your eyes studied this way and the machines and the equipment. And man, I think I laughed the hardest because 
I was the only I was the only person in the ER not in handcuffs. And I took a lot of pride, you know, in that. Uh and one homeboy, man, he legless. And he was handcuffed to his stretcher. Everybody had a guard. Everybody had a gun. Um, I just was real proud of myself. One, not being in handcuffs. And two, I didn't have someone next to me with a with a gun. It was just me and Allison, you know, just huddled like what what are we in? Um, but uh, but the old one leg with the tummy bubble, he uh he was trying to he was trying to make a plea, you know, to to his guard. Hey, 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 if you if you un uncuff me, I promise I won't, I won't, you know, slither away. And I just thought that was hilarious. Um I'll, I'll probably never forget that. That was probably the best part, other than after the appointments were all said and done, I'm back in my in the baby whip parking lot, bawling eyes out, right? Because I'm like, oh, that's it. Yeah, so I'm like, I was like, Allison, you better hit me up, you know, with the two Snickers. It says two Snickers day with some AB juice. And so I popped out a hard review, bounced over to like the quick AMPs. She bounced out of the ride, got me two Snickers, some AB juice. And uh, homeboy was uh, was sitting on the sidewalk. I don't know what his deal was, man, but man, I was laughing my butt because he had. Remember, this is like in summertime, right? So a little bit warm. He had no shirt on, but he had a double vested, you know, double breasted suit coat um, with the rhinestones, you know, up on the shoulders. And uh, this cat was bold, bold. I mean, he had no shirt, popping out chest. Got the two buttoned up, you know, with the with the rinds up on them peaks, and he was just killing it, dude. I wasn't sure if he was gonna take me. I wasn't sure if he was gonna take my ride. And then uh, and I started thinking about like the idea, right? Allison was gone. She gave me the two snacks. What would this homeboy do with me, right? So if he wanted to jump, right, and take me, would he pop in the ride? And then what would I say? You know, do I look over at the drivers and say, "Hey, you my, are you for my forever, daddy?" You know, does does that do I say that? Right? Do I already? And you don't want any of this. You know, every hole is compromised. You know, I don't know what you do right in that scene. But thank God, Ryanie didn't try to take me. Allison came back with the two snicks. I pushed those down like I was on the rock, and uh, and drank that appy like uh, it was it was my last juice. You know, before the end day. Um, most were some tears. Uh, but you know we're push we're pushing through those, trying to find the humor, love and life. Just blessed to be here. So blessed to have a wife that's okay with me wearing cherries, and uh, and she's cool with reading menus because now it's you know visions and blurries. Man, I got things all magnified now. I'm learning new. I didn't know certain things existed for the blinds. You know, I'm like screaming at the lighthouse. You know, just like hook me up, figuring it out. Bigger monitors, magnifiers. Oh. But I'm still here, right? But I'm still here. Anyhow, I'm struggling, okay? Um, but it's a Friday, and next week is hashtag, you know, dark meat. So we're going to get into it. Love it. That's my dog barking. This is my last journal entry. It's been real. But I love you all. I respect you all. I appreciate you all. And to the folks in the struggle, right? Amen. Love you. Have a fantastic weekend.